Hello everyone, today I'm excited to unravel people's intriguing responses to the question Do any of you male ISFJs feel like you possess a feminine personality? Do a lot of ISFJ men embrace their feminine energy? Or do they still conform to traditional gender roles? If you're curious to hear their diverse perspectives, make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video. Let's dive right in. Let's kick it off with John's interesting response. I possess emotional and sensitive traits, and I genuinely care about other people's feelings. I have a natural inclination to take care of those in need and prefer to stay on the sidelines rather than dominate. Some might label me as beta, meaning I tend to follow or be alone. I'm timid, cautious, and non-confrontational, which are commonly associated with femininity. Sometimes I even wonder if I have been better suited as a female, considering my personality. For instance, attracting the opposite sex can be difficult. Society often perceives dominant personalities as attractive, but that's just not who I am. Pretending to be someone I'm not, being loud and assertive, feels incredibly unnatural and uncomfortable. It's simply not genuine. Faking kindness is one thing. But faking dominance is impossible when it's not your true nature. That was indeed an intriguing response from John who got a reply from Mark saying, Sadly, gender stereotypes can act as barriers, preventing individuals from freely expressing their true selves, especially to some women. This may be a turnoff, and that sucks. This also got the attention of Jennifer. She said that, as an ISFJ woman, I made the decision to leave home and join the Navy at the age of 17. Due to my preference for non-feminine attire and my love for playing video games, I might be perceived as tomboyish by others. This serves as proof that women are also capable of possessing traits that have typically been painted with masculinity. So, I firmly believe that attracting women should not be a concern. It is important to acknowledge that there are many women with stronger personalities and I believe that a balance of energies is necessary. In response, Sean shared an intriguing observation about a close friend of his who happens to be an ISFJ. While I'm not an ISFJ myself, I've noticed some interesting dynamics in my friend's relationship. He's currently dating an ESTP girlfriend. And what's fascinating is that my friend mostly acts as the woman in the relationship. When it comes to decision making, he turns to turn to his girlfriend or input and guidance. On the other hand, his girlfriend exhibits a greater level of assertiveness and takes the lead in their relationship. It's worth noting that it was actually the girlfriend who convinced my friend that they should take the relationship to the next level and become an official couple. To wrap it up, Daniel added a piece of advice. As a man, I believe that it's important for us to embrace both our feminine and masculine qualities while also finding our balance. By embracing our feminine side, we become more well-rounded individuals. We must keep in mind that embracing our feminine traits does not take away our masculinity. In fact, it enhances our masculinity by allowing us to show vulnerability, understanding, and care. That's all. I hope you found these different responses interesting. Of course, I'm also interested in hearing about your experiences. Are there any male ISFJs out there who feel they have a feminine personality? Share your comments down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you at the next one.